Governor Scott Walker just arrived in Waukesha for this morning's law enforcement torch run. WISN 12 News Hillary Minch joins us now live with Governor Walker. Hillary? Yeah, we're here at the courthouse. Governor Walker just arrived a few minutes ago. He's got the laces uh, tightened up. He's ready to hit the pavement here. You do this uh, almost every year here. Why is this important to come out today for the Special Olympics? Well, it's a great cause, and I appreciate the men and women from law enforcement support every year. Dan Brower, who's a, a classmate of mine, got me involved in this, I think it was something like 17, 18 years ago, and uh, we've come out every year for it. It's a great, great program, great day to be out. It's nice weather, too, so that helps. It's a good Wisconsin day. This is a Chamber of Commerce day in the state of Wisconsin. Perfect and for visiting. And it's about a mile run, so uh, you'll maybe break a little sweat. Nothing too much, although I'm kind of used to running. I'm running all the time. Uh, it seems like you know, three elections and four years for governor. Uh, but it's fun to be out here running for a great cause. Right. Now, i got to ask the multi-million dollar question everyone wants to know. We're hearing that an announcement expected later this afternoon in Madison. What do we know? What can you tell us about a possible funding plan that will be announced? Well, hopefully either later today or tomorrow. Again, this whole process has been rather fluid. We've had meetings for weeks and weeks now in our office trying to pull things together between the city and the county and the state. Uh, the one thing that's clear is if we do nothing, uh, we lose out, the state taxpayers lose out over the next 20 years in at least $419 million. So that's a big sum. That's why all along it hasn't been about the bucks. It hasn't even just been about Milwaukee. It's really been about protecting state taxpayers. I want to make sure for any dollars we put in, we get many more than that return. And you said definitely you do not want to raise taxes. Yeah, no, for us, unlike the Brewers deal or Lambeau Field or other deals like that, there's not going to be a new tax created, or even like you see elsewhere around the country. In this case, uh, you're going to have at least half the money for a project come from the current or former owners, and you're going to find ways to do it at the state and the local level that don't require a brand new tax. You will be there for this announcement? Yeah, actually, if, again, whether it's today or tomorrow, again, it's been fluid along the way, uh, but it's something that we've been working with the mayor, the county executive, the speaker, the Senate majority leader, and others on. And uh, again, it's all about protecting the taxpayers. It's cheaper to keep them here than it is to see them go somewhere else. Okay, Governor, thank you so much for joining us today. Good luck on your, you. on your run here. Again, the uh, Special Olympics final leg of the torch run expected to begin at 7 a.m. here for the opening ceremonies which begin tonight in Stevens Point. We're live in Waukesha County. I'm Hillary Mintz, WISN 12 News This Morning.